It is time. Prelia RSV4 1100 factory. Oh, that's cool. Insert your personal code. Well, I don't have one. My personal code might be this. these wings. Moto GPS. Hey Michael, don't I need a license plate for this thing? Yes you do. Alright. Yeah, let's get a plate on there guys. We're heading on the street. Unfortunately, we don't have insurance to take this thing on the track. Fly-by-wire throttle. Olin's forks. Uh, Monoblock cast calipers. Looks like they got Super Corsa SP street tires that need to be broken in obviously the eraser the case covers that come with it. Look at the, even the bolts. That's cool. Bring it up to operating temperature. Anyways guys, my name is Marcel Ernie, your host of Ernie Racing World's Best Motorcycles. I'm going to take the 1100 factory out for a little street ride here in Shelton, Washington. I don't really know where to go on the street, but uh, I'll wear the Schubert helmet camera. So uh, I'll switch to this angle next. Okay? Alright. Cheers. Also know it has an Olin's damper. So I just turned it up a couple clicks to get that front end feeling. A little bit of re resistance. Temperature now 176. We're getting up to operating temperature and then let it heat soak. This thing doesn't have many miles on it. Uh, I guess I gotta figure this stuff out. It's got a minus and a plus right there. Trash control, probably. Yeah, so those little clickers on the back, ATC for race mode. Interesting. Okay, check this out, guys. Fuel odometer, 150 miles on this guy right now. Time, no, time is wrong. <laughs> Max, 155 miles per hour. I don't know if that's adjustable or not. Okay, so then you go through the menu. I see, ATC, oops. No, it doesn't let me go over to race. I can't select, I don't know. Action. Yeah, so, so obviously you can move around the menu. Right, these are your menu buttons. This is changing your traction control, plus or minus. Yeah, I saw that on there, so a ATC is uh, trash control. Correct, so if we push plus, we're gonna do three, four, all the way up to eight. Okay. And you can go all 
it back down to one. If you hold the button, it will go to zero. But for the street, we're going to want to keep it back at two, probably about four. And then what, so. uh, there's different modes from race or? Correct. Uh, there are different modes of will. So we ABS. Can, we can change the race mode uh, once much like I started, but this will change your ABS mode. Anti-wheelie control, anti-lift control. Lift control? Yeah, for uh, starts. That, okay, launch control. Launch control. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's what those are set at. And then I'll show you. We'll start this thing all out. I already warmed it up. Let's change your mode. Press the start and down. The purpose for the paddock. That's your paddock. It is 12 o'clock noon. This is your lunch hour. We will be doing a relaxed session. Starting at 12 40. Part of the rule. It's so a selectable pass. Any rider the best on? Okay. Uh, like uh, race is probably the session. best one for yeah, when you want to do street. All the drivers are going to change this. The media power release is going to be with track, less with race, and then even less with street. Okay. So, but they're all full power boats. You still get gotcha. the full 270 points. Now, how does launch control work? Uh, it's basically the same thing as the race. It's just that you can change your mode. Okay. Uh, you can change the start mode. Maybe you hold the starter and when you're right now because that uh, makes it selectable. Say, uh, I to There's a pit, uh, who knows? That's a pit limiter. I'll put the thing how to set it up. I can't turn it right now so they're not Okay. Alright, well, we're ready to go. You can turn it off. Alright, guys, 1100 factory. Here we go. Let's get on it. Right, we got some pump fuel. Okay, here we go, guys. Mm. 